we're at a gas station. I'm holding my camera between my legs. I'm <laughs> in a tripod, so I'm gonna try not to drop it. But you can't um, go on a road trip without snacks. I got dill pickle. Um, my brain's not working yet. Sunflower seeds, dill pickle sunflower seeds, and a trash coffee. And I know it's trash, but it's cold and it's delicious. And it's seven o'clock in the morning. So, um, we're on our way north to get, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one excited, but it's fine. Going to get something exciting this morning. Sunflower seeds and coffee just go great together. That's the best part. This is the first time that the cows have been in the barn lot for a while. Now everybody's begging to get inside, but I'm not letting this door open so that they can poop all over the barn where I have to clean it up, poop outside where nature takes care of it. Um, but I am literally just going to stay here all day and stare at my cows. Now Miss Honey, I honestly thought that uh, the new cow was going to give Miss Honey a run for her money because she's bigger. Like, Honey is the boss here. She's the one in charge. And I honestly thought that the other one was going to win that battle because she's bigger. And she still might. But as of today, Honey is still in charge. We made it here safe and sound. I wish I could say it was unscathed, but um, the new cow bumped her behind end I don't even know what part technically that's called but she got bumped on the trailer somehow when we had we had to break hard at one point and um, she bumped her cat you're gonna get stepped on she bumped her back end on the some part of the trailer and it scraped her but luckily it was only that and not an udder or a teat or a leg or all the other bad things that can happen but I've got to milk th this cow is a milk. I've got to milk this cow tonight at six o'clock in a new space, in a new stanchion, and she's used to being machine milked and I hand milk. So hopefully it goes well. Fingers crossed. I guess you guys will see later. I don't. I'm probably not gonna film it because I'm sure it's gonna be stressful. <laughs> Maybe not though. Um, this cow used to be at a dairy and she was somebody's like 4-H show cow so she's actually super tame it's she's easy to like lead and walk around and direct so but we're in a new place new smells new animals new handlers you never know I'm just rambling <laughs> I think that this is where I'm gonna end today's video. Give. Eh. 
everybody a chance to calm down, chill out, get used to our surroundings. Um, I'm honestly just standing here staring. I can't believe I have two dairy girls now. What was I thinking? Just kidding. I have no regrets. Tattooed right here. Um, but if you were like me or are like I used to be, we're in the dreaming phase, thinking that it it can never happen for you. One year ago, we moved into this onto this farm from a house in town with a half an acre lot. Um, it can happen. I mean, you might not want to jump in feet first, head first, like I do on everything. In one year, I went from having four chickens to 50, no pigs to two, no turkeys. We've been through three now. No cows, and we've, this is my fifth cow, second dairy girl. It can happen. If you bug your husband enough, it can happen for you. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Until next time.